there's a brand new service design conference coming up in Mexico called Front Stage. And in this episode, we'll dig into what the conference is about, why it's being organized, and of course, if you should attend or not. Hi, I'm Mark, and welcome to the Service Design Show. This show is all about helping you do more work that makes you proud by designing and delivering services that are good for people and business. And in this episode, we're going to talk about the Front Stage Conference that is being hosted on May 10th and 11th in Mexico. And I'm really excited to have one of the conference organizers, Gabriela Salinas, to explain to us what this conference is about. Why is it being hosted in Mexico for the first time? And of course, like I said, if this is something you should attend or not. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into the chat with Gabriella. Welcome to the show, Gabriella. Thank you, Mark. Awesome to have you here. I'm really interested in this conference, this new conference that will be happening in Mexico in just a few weeks. Uh, can yeah. you tell us a little bit more about that? Because you're part of the organization yeah. team. Yeah, so I work for Service Design Mexico. This is a company that I built two years ago. And so we teach courses and we also do some community events. And we have been thinking like, we should do a conference of service design in Mexico. So we haven't had a, like a related event to service design before, not like even strategic design, for example. So we have like very small community events. And so, so this is what we're doing. Uh, this is the first service design conference in Mexico. It's going to happen in May, the 10th and 11th, in, here in Mexico City. Cool. Then the first mm -hmm. sort of big service design conference in Mexico. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the conference is called Front Stage, right? Why did you pick that yeah. name? So, okay, that's, that's like a very big deal. We thought about it a lot. And... So, you know, stage theory, like it's a big thing in service design. And, you know, we have the, this the front stage, the backstage. And at, at some level, I believe that we're also trying to make visible for students and for young professionals what happens in the world of service design, of a service design professional. So we are kind of trying to bring like the service design backstage to them. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah. Putting the, the backstage of service design on the front stage. That's cool. Um, yeah. so you already explained that this is the first year and this is going yeah. to be, uh, sort of the start of a huge service design movement in, uh, in Mexico. <laughs> yeah. Um, who do you hope will attend the conference? Are you aiming for students, for business? Who, who do you hope will be there? Yeah. So we are expecting like two or three types of attendees. So the first is um, students from traditional um, design disciplines. So, you know, graphic design, industrial design, architecture. Since this is happening in Tech de Monterrey, they have like these careers, design careers, and maybe like related degrees or majors. Um, some students in search of complementing their knowledge. So we are also expecting professionals who work in companies or consultancies in the design of services. So this could be like in close practices like strategic design, design thinking, user experience design. And also we have a very big community growing here. We have a lot of ex-alumni of Service Design Mexico's courses. So these will be professionals that um, have taken courses in service design before, and they also seek to continue building these capacities. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so students, uh, professionals, uh, alumni, business. Yeah. Makes sense. Um, now, get me sold on this conference. Who is speaking? Uh, tell us a little bit about the lineup. How is the... What does the program look like? Because it's two days. Yeah, yeah. get us excited about why we should it end. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we have four tracks of topics. First, um, we have service design tools, service design skills, and service design related with other disciplines. Th because that's a question we get a lot, like what's the relationship between you know, service design, UX design, and also service implementation. 
So um, what we've been thinking about these tracks is mainly how can we um, help design students that I was telling you about the, from these traditional design disciplines to understand the value of service design. So we're going to have uh, a day of conferences and a second day of workshops. And just talking about these topics like on a very grounded level, like very practical, very basic methodologies, tools, and just with the mindset, you know, to help them get a sense of how to start integrating this into their practice. Mm. Help them mm. realize that maybe they are already doing service design on their day to day and to help them just with very practical case studies and examples. And the last topic I was telling you is service implementation. I think that's more aimed at design professionals. Yeah, yeah. So this is for people that have been working in related practices for a while, you know, usually product design here in Mexico, and are looking for ways to complement it with a service mindset. So the questions we're trying to answer here are, like, how can they prove their stakeholders, the value of service design? How can they measure the success of their projects? Um, how can they evangelize others in their organization or deal with the complexities of this projects and maybe move the practice beyond the tools from the books because that's what we yeah, often yeah, get here yeah. you know there's like all the books that we have and then what really happens after you do the blueprint so yeah so yeah. something that gets me really excited about this is that it's happening in Tec de Monterrey and it and has what's so like exciting this, about that yeah they have this vibrant student culture and the space is really big. It accommodates 300 attendees. So first, we are expecting to have great networking moments. And so we have seven speakers on Friday on this very big room. Can you and name a few or who's coming, who's speaking at the conference? Of course. So four of them are international. That's what it's getting me super excited. So we have Alejandro Masferrer. He created trigger cards and he will be speaking about that, you know, about facilitation, brainstorming, creativity. We have Richard Eckelman. He, he was the first accredited coach by the SDN. So he's going to be talking about um, the value of service design through a business perspective. Mm. So mainly mm. making like this business case, like very grounded, very understandable about service design. Mm, we also have Majid Iqbal. Um, so he wrote the most recent book of service design, Thinking in Services last year. And he will be talking about like in general, the, the service mindset and He's also going to be doing a workshop um, from a framework of his book called uh, Four Promises. This is about value propositions and just like, like the value of service design. All right. So, All right. We, yeah. Uh, so, okay. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Yeah. What, what else? <laughs> <laughs> the three of them are doing workshops as well on Saturday, the 11th. And the closing keynote is by Lara Penning, which whom I admire a lot. And mm. she's a director of transdisciplinary design graduate program in Parsons and, and uh, this is lab. So she's going to be talking about service design as a social material practice. Mm. And this is mm. something very aligned to her book. And like just the, the whole social innovation impact related to service design. So that's also... I believe, like a very new conversation here in Mexico. Clara Pennon, interesting name. Maybe we need to get her on the show as well. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, Who, uh, she wrote wait. a book also. In yeah, Sony yeah, Sony. yeah, yeah. Super interesting person. Um, I don't want to give too much away uh, in this episode, but <laughs> uh, what is the thing that you are looking forward to the most yourself? So, um, just in general, like, Getting people together in this in this space and sharing knowledge, and I, what I think is that for most people in Mexico, it's very hard to attend a conference. You know, in service design, all of them are mostly in Europe, 
So traveling and, and all of that is very expensive. And so just being able to bring them here in the most accessible price that we could, it's great. And I've been thinking about this phrase a lot. I don't know if, if you use it, but it's like, if you can't go to the mountain, then you must bring the mountain to you. Mm. So we're bringing the service design mountain <laughs> to Mexico. <laughs> well, I think that will be the title of this video. Um, <laughs> you, you, you said something about price. Uh, I think when this video is out, there are still a few days, mm -hmm. uh, weeks uh, before the event. Yeah. How, can people mm -hmm. still sign up? And if so, where should they look to get their tickets? Okay, so um, we have extended the early bird price to the 15th of April. They can get the, the ticket like a couple days before. They don't have to worry if they want to come, but like maybe they should hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> so that's gonna be through our web website that is frontstage.servicedesign.mx. Okay, I'll link to it down below, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so th that's the yeah. website, frontstage.servicedesign.mx. And there you yeah. can find all the info you need uh, mm -hmm. for the conference. I was checking the website and it was all Spanish. Now, my Spanish is not that good. <laughs> will yeah. the conference be uh, in Spanish or, are you, or will it be in English? So um, is it just for people from it's, Latin America? It's going to be mixed. So, you know, the, the people coming from abroad, so Lara Penning, Richard and Kemo and Majid are going to be talking in English. Of course. Yeah. So we, uh, we are looking to have translation for the people in, that speak Spanish. And we also have some, I didn't mention, like some several local and like Latin speakers. They are going to be doing some talks and some workshops. So we have Angie Ursic, um, Roberto and Jose from Incitum, um, Claudia Sosa and Albor, Al, Aldo Alvarez, they all speak in Spanish. So okay. the, the okay. conference is going to be, you know, mixed. 50, no, well, not 50 50, but mixed. Um, yeah. Gabriela, uh, have fun. Good luck Thank with the final preparations. I know how it is to organize these events and it's exhausting, but uh, don't forget to enjoy yeah. yourself and uh, let us know how it went. And if you're going to the conference, uh, leave a comment because, yeah. I want to know how it was and how many people are going from the service design show community to the event it would be really cool if you're there make sure to shake hands with uh, gabriella so th <laughs> thanks yeah. thanks for explaining thank you mark i think just one a little something that i left out is that we have an ongoing promotion on our website it's for some free tickets or discounts so if mm, you go to the we website love that. yeah free tickets and discount how do yeah. we get the free ticket or discount so if you go to the website, you're going to see like this button in the bottom corner that says Quiero Boleto. It's in Spanish. It means I want a ticket. Mm -hmm. And then you can just sign up there and we'll be doing some raffles. And so. so there's even a chance to win a free ticket. Awesome. Yeah. Anything else we need to say about the conference? I think that's it. <laughs> Again, thanks, uh, Gabriela, and have fun. Are you interested in the Front Stage Conference? And if so, which speaker would you like to see? Check out the conference website at frontstage.servicedesign.mx to learn more about the conference. The link is also, of course, down below in the show notes. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you'd like to see more, don't forget to subscribe because we bring new videos that help to level up your service design skills at least once a week. So. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.